I just wanted to do a quick video because it's not all doom and gloom in the garden here in Australia in winter. These Haworthia have just, oh, they just look absolutely beautiful. In fact, this guy up here is throwing off a bloom. Uh, the one next to it looks like it might be treated for a pest of some description, might be mealybug. But this one here, look at that. They're absolutely gorgeous. There's a couple of Gasterias, another Haworthia. So I thought I might just show you some of the things that are going well in my garden. <laughs> There's a lot that's not going so well. I've had to treat lots of pests. But uh, up here on the front veranda, these Haworthia are absolutely gorgeous and they just love the cold weather. So they've been just thriving. Uh, I have a little um, Fenestraria, which is a baby toes, and that one's actually, I grew that one from seed. And so that one's looking quite happy there. It doesn't get very much water or anything. And there's some more Haworthia just over there that are looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at those, they're amazing. So let's have a look around at some of the good things that are happening in my winter garden. All right, we have our <laughs> brain cactus, which is just overflowing the skeleton skull. So I definitely need to transplant that into a bigger pot. We have our Ent underneath here and his hair looks amazing. So he's just got, um, it actually looks like a mixture of burrito and burrows tails. Um, one of them, have a look how long this is. Look at this. It's actually reached out across a few different pots there. So he's looking amazing with his gorgeous hair over there. And Brain Cactus is looking fantastic. Let's go and see what else is looking really fantastic in the winter garden. Here's another fantastic looking Haworthia on the front veranda. Have a look at the size of this. If I put my hand there, it's almost the size of my palm. And I just love the little windows, but it's just absolutely loving the cold weather and looking fantastic. There's some more Haworthias here. I think these ones are mirror balls. There's that one there and there's another one that's kind of hiding over there. And they're looking beautiful. A Tessalata, there's another Haworthia there looking beautiful. I think there's some more Haworthias up a little bit further on the veranda here that are just loving, loving the cold weather. There's a variegated string of pearls there that looks quite happy, probably needs a bit of water very soon. What else have we got under here? So here are all the Haworthias, look at that. Looks like they've got old um, flower stalks on them. But uh, so they need to be cleaned up, but they're just beautiful. And there's some more down here. And they're just gigantic, like these ones. Oh, they're just huge and just so beautifully green. All right, let's go see what else we can find. These Echeverias out the front, I'm not sure if they're ghosties, but they look beautiful. Look at the color in those. And they're quite large too. Whoops, absolutely, accidentally <laughs> snapped off a leaf. That's all right, I'll put that down there. That might grow another plant, you never know. <laughs> but these look fantastic. They've just got such beautiful color on them. They're a little bit stressed. All right, let's see what else we can find. We have our Echeveria agavoides ebony hiding under here, looking magnificent. And I think because it's hidden away, I think that's why the snails haven't found it yet. Doesn't that look beautiful? And there's a frilly echeveria there that's looking quite happy. That's very cute too. I've had to treat for pests here. So I actually used a rose spray the other day to spray all the flowers because a lot of them are throwing off flowers and the aeoniums have got ants and aphids on them. So I'll hit them again with, another, with some more rose spray that I ran out for the moment. But most of the critters look like they're probably dead now. So I just need to wash that off with a bit of water. But I think I'll treat it again first. All right, let's see what else we can find. This Calancho is just stunning. Absolutely beautiful color on it. It gets all the morning sun and it's just loving life absolutely gorgeous underneath there is a one of its cousins there's a calancho under there that's got some beautiful red coloring on it too just lovely all right and here we have some i think i'm not sure if they're mexican snowballs but they're some sort of echeveria and they're just absolutely beautiful coloring too all right let's keep moving 
In one of these pots, we have a variegated bear's paw. So look at that. The little red tips on the ends of the leaves are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And there's a Mr. Toothy in there. It's got some nice colouring too, because of the cold, I think. There's our crested grapto, looking stunning. That one hasn't been hit with pests yet, so that's really good. That's really good news. Let's keep moving and see what else we can find. There's a Hawerthia Cooperi Silver Swirls. And it's just loving the cold, cold conditions that we've been having at the moment. Just looking absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's see what else we can find. Oh, and next to it there is some sort of a truncata hybrid. I love these. I think sometimes they get called horse's teeth and a gigantic weed, which I'll just pull out. Uh, you don't really need to see me do that though, do you? <laughs> I just love the new growth on these crust sealers here. The string of buttons, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love the new growth. It's that really pale green color and it just looks absolutely delightful. So that's growing really well. All right, we'll keep going and see what else is doing well in the garden in winter. Look at these beautiful Aeonians. I'm not so sure what type these are, but they're looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colouring on them. They're quite sheltered here, so they've just been getting the cold air, but none of the frost or anything. So they're looking magnificent too. All right, let's continue on. Look at this absolutely beautiful cluster of Echeverias. I've already taken a few of these to school for the kids that are in um, my lunchtime succulent club and they just loved them. Look at the colour there, absolutely gorgeous. So they're doing pretty well in the winter. A few detritus, bits of sticks and leaves and stuff that need to be cleaned up, but they're looking absolutely beautiful too. Look at the perfection in those. Let me see, look at this one with the colouring. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's a lovely cluster there. I noticed this euphorbia the other day. The cactus next to it's looking pretty happy. It's got a new pup up there, but this one's starting to leaf out. So that's really good because I lost a few in the frost. Uh, they're not, they were not happy campers at all. So this one leafing out is really good news. And there was something else I wanted to show you before we end the video. These are some little cactus bowls, which I had for sale on um, Marketplace on Facebook. And the cacti, they've been getting quite a lot of the frost and everything here, but they're still alive. I think they'll come alive more so in spring. So these are looking quite cute still. They've got the little steer skulls there that I made out of polymer clay. So they're doing okay. Not great, but they're doing okay. And we've got um, the cactus bowl down here, the cactus garden that I put together fairly recently. And it's still looking really good. That um, aloe there is just amazing. And we've got a beautiful, look at this. This is a Pacophytum compactum. I'm not sure if it's chiseled stones or just a normal compactum, but look what's happening underneath. Can you see all those babies? I love the different designs on the leaves. They're absolutely gorgeous. So that's looking beautiful. It's quite sheltered around here. We've got a cactus bowl here with a whole stack of little cacti from um, Cactus Anonymous from a while back. And so they're looking lovely. There's an astrophytum there. I love the astrophytum. A couple of gymnocalesiums. There's a little euphorbia in a pot there. And so they're looking absolutely gorgeous. The ones in the middle there, what does that say? Neocylenia cetosiflora. So they're beautiful. Look at those. They're very different, aren't they? Got some gorgeous colouring on them. We have a couple of um, string of hearts, which I've sort of put into little punnets. And so a few of those are growing. And then I've also got over here, just the whole mess of them because I cut one back and I had lots of cuttings. So I stuck them in here and they're quite happy. So they probably need to be put into their own separate pots, but they're looking lovely. Over here is some absolutely gorgeous Echeverias. That's another pot that I had for sale on Marketplace. And so they're looking amazing. In fact, I think there was only one Echeveria in there and I think it's actually spread out into two. So that's pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. And this is what I wanted to show you. This is actually a Aloenopsis Malherbii. K. 
Calvinia. There you go. There's the name there. I've just written that on a homemade tag. There are two of them. Well, this one's actually got two heads. But these I actually grew from seeds. These are the only ones that kind of survived this long. But this one here, look at that, is throwing off a bloom. So I can't wait to see what the bloom looks like. But that one's actually not in a great position, but it seems to be really happy here. So that's gonna be absolutely stunning when it throws off that bloom. I can't wait to see what color the flower is. Looks like it might be yellow, but it's a bit hard to tell. Anyway, I thought we might just see one more thing before we end the video today. And this is the Echeveria, which I beheaded. Now it's got a few spots on it and I think it needs to be treated with um, some sort of, it looks like it's got fungus or something but it's doing it pretty tough around here but have a look at the size of these babies they're absolutely beautiful so when i chopped the head off the head didn't survive but this is the stump and it's doing really well and there's a couple of um echeveria leaves there the throwing off babies and then in this pot there's an adramiscus leaf and it's throwing off a baby i think and there's also another echeveria leaf so right next to that, these are some adramiscus that I bought from, it was in the value pack from um, Succulents Australia, I think it was. And so these were tiny, but they're looking amazing. So it looked like there's one there that hasn't made it. And then that one looks like um, it might need to be treated for um, mold or something too. There's not a lot of airflow around here, but they still look pretty happy. I can see new growth there. So the Adramiscus are fantastic. This one here is um, Sedum Gregii. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So that's got beautiful little leaves and that's quite happy too. There's, um, I think that's called Red Berry, that one. That's a tip to another type of sedum. But these guys are growing beautifully here. Like I said, just need to treat a couple of them with um, an antifungal or something. But the rest of them are looking absolutely beautiful. They're quite happy here. And so obviously not everything. So I, I think I've shown you in some of the other videos, some of my uh, <laughs> failures, but not everything is looking really drab and sad. <laughs> there are some things that look fantastic and they're doing absolutely beautifully. So let's end on a really good note. And that's some of the wonderful things that are happening in my winter garden. All right, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and hit the notification bell so that you know if there's a new video going up. Please share these videos with your friends if you've enjoyed them. And I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.